Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this project, you will learn how to create a simple robot head using an Arduino and a servo. The components we will need are the Arduino Uno, the SG90 servo motor, breadboard, white LEDs, 220 ohms resistor, jumper wires, small wood, and a carton. Now, for the circuit diagram, we have the servo motor and the LEDs all connected to the Arduino. But the main component in this project is the servo motor. The servo motor has three pins. One is the brown pin, which is the ground. Two is the red pin, which is the VCC. Three is the yellow pin, which is the data. If you're ready, let's build a robot. Step one, we connect the servo and the Arduino. The first thing is to connect the ground from the servo motor to the ground on the Arduino. Then we connect the VCC from the servo motor to the 5 volts on the Arduino. The next thing is to connect the data from the servo motor to pin 13 on the Arduino. Wow, congratulations. You just completed your first step successfully. Now let's move on to the second step. In this second step, we'll create the head of the robot. So take your carton, take your pencil, take your ruler and do these measurements. We need six parts to make the rectangular head. The first part is the front and the back. The measurement is 10 cm by 5 cm. The second part is the top and the bottom. The measurement is 10 cm by 7 cm. The third part is the left and the right. The measurement is 7 cm by 5 cm. When you take this measurement and cut them out, glue them together, you will have a shape similar to this. Then use your marker to draw the eyes and the nose and design the robot the way you want. Let's move into step 3, where we fix the robot eyes. Take your LEDs and fix them into the parts where you mark the eyes of the robot. Bring out the wires from the bottom of the robot. Your LED has two pins. The long one is the positive, the short one is the negative. From the left LED, connect the long leg to the Arduino pin 12. And from the right LED, connect the long leg, which is also the positive, to the Arduino pin 11. Then bring out your breadboard, create a common ground from the breadboard to the Arduino ground. Then connect the short leg from the left LED to this common ground. Connect the short leg from the right LED to this common ground. Your image will appear this way. Congratulations. We have just two more steps. In step four, we join all these parts together. Glue the two pieces of wood, the body and the base. Then also glue the servo motor onto the body. And fix your robot head onto the servo motor. With this, we have built the robot. In the next step, we'll write the code that will control the robot. So let's move into step five. Since we are working with a servo motor, the first thing we'll do in our code is to include the servo.h library. Then secondly, we create an object of this servo library. For this particular class, we decide to call that object my servo. Next thing, we'll create the variable servo pin to hold the data pin of the servo motor. We'll create a variable called position to hold the position of the servo head. We'll set it to an initial position of zero. So next, we create two variables for the LEDs. We'll create the variable left eye and assign it to pin 12. We'll create the variable right eye and assign it to pin 11. Then we move into void setup. Oh my God! Wow! The object of the servo that we created, which is called my servo, we attach the servo pin to that object. Then we'll write an initial position for the servo, which is zero, and we'll delay it for about two seconds. Next, we'll set the pin mode for the left eye to be output and we'll set the pin mode for the right eye to be output. In the void section, we'll use the for loop. Now, the for loop has three arguments, the beginning, the end, and the increment. We'll say in the position, start from position 0 and rotate up to position 180 and increase each of these positions by 1. While you're doing this, take a delay of 15, then turn on the left eye and the right eye. Then in the second for loop, we'll repeat the same thing, but this time we're doing from 180 down to 0. And this time you reduce the number by one. You also write that position to the servo motor and then you take a delay and then you turn off the lights. Wow, congratulations. So if you have done this, upload your code to your Duno and then let's test it. 